The Chart of the Day Cafe for Thursday, October 15th, 2015. Just going to read our disclaimer quickly. Trading stocks is a high level of risk and viewers should complete their own due diligence on any stock or underlying that they intend to own. 100% of the content of this video and communique is intended for journalistic and educational purposes only. This video and all indicators, strategies, and articles herein should not be construed as investment advice. Thank you for your patience with that. So as always, we start our videos off with a two-year weekly chart of the Russell Index. We use the Russell as our simple proxy for overall market health, strength, and direction. And because we never want to put a chart forward to our viewers unless we're putting it forward in a rising market environment. So as you can see, we've been keeping an eye on this blue channel that the Russell was trading in through much of 2014. And then in early 2015, had a breakout to the upside, traded up and out. And then in that price action through August and September came way back in, tested the lows, the lower band of the channel, and is now trying to lift. So I think we're in a bit of a do or die area right here in the next week or so where either we're going to get a candle that complements last week's bullish candle and pushes this candle up and perhaps in the week following we get a move up and out. As soon as we get up and over this blue band and we have a bullish um, line through the candle, meaning the eight day EMA is through the candle on the weekly chart, I will put new videos forward featuring new stock picks. But until then, I don't want to put any new videos forward um, because I think it's a time to be really careful. Having said that, in our model portfolio that we started on September 8th, I am swing trading in and out of prior chart of the day cafe picks um, that portfolio is currently up about 6.2 percent overall and is currently sitting in pretty much all cash with the exception of one position in Gilead um, so we are active in the um, chart of the day cafe model portfolio which is just pretend paper money um, but we will not put any new featured video um, stocks forward until price moves up and over this blue band. So interesting, interesting area. I'm filming this at about 7.30 on Thursday morning and the futures are healthy. Uh, the Dow is up 120 points, so maybe we will get that push up. But I'm just going to go over a couple of charts that I think are worth keeping an eye on because I think it's really, as I say, a bit of a do or die situation here, whether we get that follow through to the upside here or we start to roll over and make new lows. So this is the Russell. The one chart that I'm really uh, keeping an eye on these days is the UUP, which is the dollar, US dollar. UUP is the ETF that represents the US dollar. I'm going to pull it into a five-year monthly chart. Actually, I'm going to go back. Let's go 10 years. 10-year monthly chart of the US dollar. And here are my lines. So it was trading in this great big wedge, uh, traded down to a low here in the middle of 2014 and then had this breakout to the upside. Holy moly, what a breakout. So the dollar, UUP, this ETF, is in an area where if it starts to exceed this area here, never been higher. And we're just referring to the ETF right now. Like, so the uh, UUP, the ETF that represents the US dollar, is trading in a way that would suggest there's this new little wedge happening here at this prior area of uh, which is now support so I'm keeping an eye on UUP trading in this area because I think I'm not an economist but I'm just thinking that this huge currency move in the US dollar is somewhat disruptive to the emerging markets and the rest of the world if the dollar starts to move up and out of this wedge that's something to keep an eye on it might get kind of interesting so I'm going to move it away from the 10 year monthly to the 9 month daily so here's the wedge and keeping an eye on this. So if it starts to look perky and starts to look like it wants to break out, um, I think it's time to be really vigilant. So that's UUP. This is the two-year weekly UUP. The other one is the um, TNX, which is the uh, interest rate on the 10-year note, five-year weekly uh, let me put it into monthly. That might be uh, a little easier to see. So here we go with the monthly. Again, traded in this wedge, had this breakout. We are now here where we're testing the upside of this wedge border. So 
that's interesting as well. So if this starts to look perky, um, it might get interesting. The other one, the last one, is the VIX. So all of these things are lining up. That's all I'm saying is that there's a lot of tension underneath this market. Time to be really careful. So here's the VIX. I'm going to delete all my drawings and say that this is the two-year weekly. We had this big move up, as we're also well aware, August and September, all that extreme price action. And here we are now. This is the candle shaping up so far this week. So really want to be careful here. This is, um, let's call it an area of support. So as I mentioned earlier, the futures are really healthy this morning. Europe was trading higher. Um, maybe we're all good to go and we do get that breakout to the upside. But with UUP and all of these other things trading in these wedge patterns, breakouts here would be kind of interesting. So having said that, um, I will just do a quick screenshot of our um, model portfolio so far on Google Finance. So we initiated it September 8th. Um, we've been swing trading it. I, I, I'm trying to build a website and I want to figure out a way where I can um, have this posted so everyone can see it day in, day out. So far we're up 6.2% and as I mentioned earlier, we only have one position open so it's, it's mostly cash. So we will wait to see which direction this market goes in. If we do get a nice um, healthy day today, I will put some charts in front of you that are past chart of the day picks that I think look really interesting. Uh, the first one is Calmine Foods. You know, for us it's all about the blue line, there's that wedge. It's coming up on that dividend. It pays a nice healthy dividend, so this one looks good to me. Not making any suggestions whatsoever. I'm just keeping an eye on these guys. Skywork Solutions, same thing. I'm going to wait until price moves up and over this blue line, but if we do start to get that healthy move in the market, then I would be swing trading these for our model portfolio. Um, and I checked the uh, scores on these this morning. They're all super healthy and still deep in the value zone that we look for. And the other one um, is AMBA, making a double bottom here. So I would, again, it's all about the blue line and, and price moving up and over the blue line. But I like that it's far enough away from earnings that it may have a nice, decent run. And this one, for instance, it's, as an example, is currently trading at $55.59, but the value score on it says that it's worth $88.21. This is the one that we associated with GoPro. It's the semiconductor optics company that allows cameras and drones and, and things like GoPro cameras. So um, at some point, I'd like to be able to uh, have an archive library of all the old videos that I did on these. But these are all old chart of the day cafe picks. And these are the ones that I swing trade in that model portfolio. So with that, I will leave you and um, we'll see what the next few days brings. It should be interesting and I will post another video next Tuesday. Thanks, guys. Have a good weekend.